Hello viewers, welcome to this YouTube channel. This channel is for those who have interest in graphic design. So if it is your first time on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that we will send you a message whenever we upload new videos. In this video, we are going to discuss how to trace a logo using CorelDRAW 19. Okay, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to trace a logo. So the first thing that you're supposed to do is to come to the left side corner, top corner of the application. You click this icon what it means is you are going to open a new page so we are going to give a title to our work which is logo facing like this here we will be working on a, a four page and the 300 dpi resolution is okay you press okay here is our page then we go to the desktop, we drag our logo here, so I am going to stretch our logo a little bit so that we can have a big working area. So where are we going to start? From here, we want to draw this shape. So here we take this two which is the bezier two we zoom our shape left click go down left click again you need to go back on top click again so that you have a complete shape after that what is it that you are going to do you click here the pick two then we take the shape tool we want to shape these lines so that they can form this shape after clicking with the, the shape tool you go here convert to curves so what it means is we want to convert these straight lines into curves then you click this arrow, drag it to the edges of the shape like this. You will do the same on the other side, like you click the line, then convert to curves. You drag these arrows to the edges like this again. After that, we are going to do the same on this other two shapes so we take the base here two click here click here go back left click again then we take the shape two so that we can shape here convert to curves you drag your line using these arrows like this right you are going to do the same here again convert to curves you drag the line like this so that it will perfectly fit at the edges of your shape okay this shape is the same as this shape so what are we going to do we are going to copy this shape to this other side so we use the our keyboard shortcuts which is control c for copying then control v for pasting then you come here mirror horizontally you click here so we have another shape which is similar that one then we place it here after that 
we can use a different color in the meantime we're going to use red you can click here shade this shape with red shade with red shade this shape with red then we are going to put these horizontal white lines here like this our lines should perfectly fit here then control copy control paste we move this shape to here and lastly control c for copying control v for pasting we move this shape again to here after this i think we are done with this uh, icon if we add a different color which is red like this like this and these ones you can put a white color like this then we are only left with the name the name here we'll do the same type the name here right so we are going to look for a font which is similar right this font is similar this one if you check then we can change the color so that we will be able to place our letters like this if you closely check the letter s is not perfectly fitting so what you do is you go to object then break text so that we can do with this simulator which is s like this now our s is fitting perfectly perfect then we want to do this part R. we take our letter r here place it inside like this then this circle like this to perfectly fit then we come here we want to yeah two millimeters we can try and work with a uh, 10 millimeters and see oh it's too much click again 0 0.2 we can increase to 0 0.4 right now it's okay then move this part so we have these two logos this one in black this one in red we try and change the colors here we change the color at this part we change color this part same applies to this we want to change the color or the text going to change color like this so in this era in black so after this if you're going to check your logos they will look similar like this please don't forget to subscribe and leave your comment if you want us to discuss some other topics, please, you can leave those topics in the comment section. Thank you.